so in this one i'm gonna break down this project right here uh, i got a lot of questions how i make this one so i just want to break it down and before we get started i uh, just want to say that it looks really complex but once you see this video i'm sure you will understand it and it's actually pretty easy so make sure you stick around and let's just get straight into it so we're in this scene and before we get started as you can see we have some assets here um and if you're lazy you can just go to my patreon where i leave the project file there but what i just did i would just go to quixel bridge and download this asset right here and for these ones uh, i would just get them on blender kit for example i would just search up moss right here and import this one for example and delete this and as you can see this is made out of uh, these kind of uh, leaves so i would just use them use them but before we get into geometry notes uh, i just want to add a plane here which will be the effector and this will control uh, where it will be affecting so now we can start with the geometry node setup and what i want to do is i want to distribute these assets these kind of collections onto this trunk and the way i'm gonna do this is by bringing a distribute points on faces and as you can see we just converted this into points but now we don't see the geometry so i just want to bring a join geometry now here and connect these and now you can see we have the, distribu the distributed points here as well with the uh, geometry itself and now i want to convert these points into these instances so i will just add a instances on points and now i can choose here my collection so i can just grab this mouse right here plug my instance into here and what i just did i just lowered the density because it's very heavy so you can do it before you actually plug this instances into instance I'm just gonna scale it a bit so we can see it but as you can see it's not uh, very accurate but if I were to separate children research children and now pick instance now I'm gonna scale it up so we can actually see it now you can see we're getting somewhere so now we want to control this effect with this plane right here and the way I'm gonna do this is by bringing this plane right here from the tab right here and do a basic basic setup right here uh, so i'll bring a geometry proximity into this one and a position node and i do this setup uh, a lot so i've probably talked about this enough before but for some of you that still haven't seen these videos uh, i'm just gonna switch it to relative and this is pretty much the basic setup all i can do now is just plug this distance into the scale and as you can see if i move this one it's gonna do something if you pay really close attention but obviously this is not what we're looking for so i will just bring a map range into here and adjust these values so something like this for example as you can see we have some kind of control over here and for now i think this is all right we can now increase the density a little, something like this. I just increased the density right now, but what is wrong right now is the rotation, so let me fix it. So what you want to do is add a rotate uh, Euler, like this. Plug this into rotation, and now we can kind of rotate it, but this is not what we want. But if I were to plug my rotation from the distribute points and faces, into the rotate Euler to rotation as you can see now it's gonna take the normals of uh, this trunk right here and it's gonna have the right rotation now I can see this is way too much so I'm just gonna decrease the scale what I want to do from here is to add some randomness because this is pretty much really boring so if I were to just add a noise texture into my density and add a color ramp after this one so I can make this even more controllable i will i will even add a math french if after this one and multiply this by like three and as you can see this noise texture what it does is it makes this kind of interesting pattern 
where the black means zero so wherever is zero there is no points right here there is no no leaves and whereas white is one and i'm just multiplying the density by by like five and you can always increase this or decrease this but to just make sure it is just more interesting and what really makes this animation stand out is these individual leaves are actually moving as well so they are animated and this is really easy to do uh, you can just add a noise texture so if you go to your rotation over here so the rotate or you learn you have the second option right here and you can add a noise texture over here and set it to 4d and now if i were to add a driver so frame uh, for example like 100 maybe and if i were to play this animation out you can see these are actually moving and this is what makes the animation really cool now if i were to increase this one to something like 300 it's gonna be slower so the more you put here uh, sorry the more you put here uh, it's gonna be slower so i think something like this looks fine and i can see the scene is getting very heavy so i will just decrease the density something like three right now i would say this is pretty much it for the moss now we can control it and it's animated so now we can focus on the other instances as well which are really interesting and what i think is really interesting about this scene are these ones because these ones as you can see are animated as well and i will get to them at the end of the video but let's just focus on the easiest stuff right here now we can pretty much do the same thing for the shrooms as well so i will just select all of these and duplicate it over and plug this over like over here from the geometry input into the distribute points as well into the mesh and the same thing here so the instances on points to geometry and now we can see nothing's happening and that is because we have still selected the collection here uh, to moss so i just want to change this to our shroom collection now you can see we have some shrooms right here and obviously this is way too much so just let's just lower the density over here in the multiply to something like 0.1 and even this is way too much so like maybe like 0.01 now this is way too big so let's just decrease the scale right here so we're getting somewhere and let's just play with the seed value right here to get something that we like but and for example if you don't like these shrooms how they are rotated you can always bring a combine. This is what I did in the original scene. I was just bring up combine X, Y, Z. And now I get to choose which uh, rotation axis I want to rotate this on uh, with the noise texture. So this is animated. And we can choose on which axis this is animated. So now you can see the, we don't have the driver. So we have to add some drivers or something like maybe like this one and as you can see we have something happening now this is way too fast so maybe like 300 could work and yeah this is pretty cool i would say and i could plug this into x as well now it's gonna move on all of the axes i could just make this only these axes and you can pretty much do whatever you want but i'm just gonna leave it something like this and i will just customize this noise texture so i make sure we have some different seed from the moss and the actual shrooms and this is pretty much for the shrooms now here we go to the most interesting part which are these lace right here so as you can see these are animated but they are not moving at the bottom and i've actually deleted the geometry nodes over here so i can show you what it uh how i did it but here is the basic setup and i'm just going to show you how to make this from scratch so if you have these kind of leaves and you want them to move only over here and you don't want the bottom to be moving you can just do it very simply and you can do it via geometry nodes and if you were to add a just set position node now you can animate the offset right here and the way we can do this is by bringing a vector math and change this operation to scale and now if i were to add a noise texture into this one uh, you can see it goes pretty crazy right here and this is where we go to the second output right here where we have the scale and what i want to do is first add a gradient texture 
Now it's gonna pretty much disappear, but don't worry. Uh, but if I were to add a now vector rotate and change these values to 1 and the angle to 90 and I mean nothing is still happening but if we add a position node now this is a magical one if I were to add a position node over here you can see now we get to see something now obviously this is wrong so I will just add a color ramp into this one and now I can focus on where I want the animation to be start. So as you can see, if I move this black value right here, now we can see, we can uh, focus on where we have the animation going. So let's just focus on this leaf only, something like this. And now if I animate the noise texture right here, so for example, again, I'm just gonna use the frame here. So frame uh, something like 100. Now you can see it's gonna be animating. Now this is way too fast, so maybe like frame 300 maybe. And we have some kind of a waving thing going on right here and this looks very cool. And so once we have these animated, we can just go and move into this geometry node setup right here and basically do the same thing over again. So just duplicate this one right here and before uh, you plug these ones, you just want to make sure you have the right selection. So for this, it's called Plant. Now I can plug the geometry input into this right here. Now it's very small. So you got to make sure you actually locate with this one because you can see it's pretty, pretty confusing. So we have successfully connected it into join geometry but still we can see something and usually this is because we don't have the scale right so i'll just increase the scale right here and now if i play this uh, you can see these are moving uh, and everything is moving and we can control this with uh, this one as well and this is fully customizable which is really really great like like for example if i were to increase this value right here this is the distance from the plane and now we can focus on having way more distance over here so i hope you got some value out of this one uh, i feel like this is a really interesting one and you can implement this into many projects and if you want to check out the project file you can just go ahead and go to my patreon where it is available and as always i hope you got some value out of this one and this is everything from me now and i will see you in the next one